Jordan is. Because my skirt doesn't have a slit, so this is as far as I can go. Jordan fits right in with all the people waddling around in their ski boots. It's true. Hello from Aspen. Hello. We're just getting ready for the day. As you can tell, we have my darling Jordan here. Hey. <laughs> Matt decided to ditch me last minute. We're having a girls weekend, but we've been wanting one for a while. I know. Jordan and I used to travel everywhere together. We went on our first ever influencer trip together. Yeah, back we in the went, day. We went to Greece. Yeah, we went was to- it Corfu? No, it was, it was like Crete. Crete, yeah. And it was the most extravagant trip of all time. I remember being like, what is happening? How are we here? They gave us like a villa with our own pool. It was insane. Our own house. We were shook. We were like, is this what life is? I remember going up to the mini bar and being like, the mini bar is free. <laughs> <laughs> and we just went ham. Yeah. We ate it all within like the first hour. We had like free alcohol and stuff there too, right? Okay, I remember I, I like had just quit my job too. So I was like, this is the light. You're like, I made the right decision. Yeah. This is We've been me. on so many fun trips together throughout the years, I feel like. That first trip was, I think it was 2017. Yeah. It was a really long time ago. We did have a few Greece moments, though. We did, oh, like, yeah, Mykonos, we did Mykonos a few times. We had a, Myk a Mykonos phase. Now I feel like Mykonos is so different. So, yeah. We've been to, like, Kuksamala together. That was so cool in Mexico. A few revolve trips. Yeah, that was really pretty. That was probably one of the prettiest hotels I've ever been to. So, fun fact about how Jordan and I met. Oh yeah. Jordan and I actually went to the same college. We both went to Marist College. Marist. And were you th four years younger than me or three I was years? a freshman and you were a senior, so I think three. That much? You're 33 and I'm 30, so I think three. Okay. Or no, you're 32. Yeah. Yeah, you're 32. So maybe you were and I'm 30. a you're freshman right? and I was a junior. Yeah. So my like best friend in colleges, they were in a sorority mm -hmm. and her grand little in the sorority was Jordan. Mm -hmm. And so we like knew each other in college, but not very well. And then I started like, I remember this seeing was like pre-Instagram. I think I had like a blog. Yeah, but you had dreams. good style. You had really good style. When I first saw you, I remember what you were wearing. You were wearing like snakeskin pants. And I was like, those pants are so cool. <laughs> this makes sense. And then I remember like when you graduated, and you were like living, you had a place in the city. We started hanging out a ton and sh helping each other shoot photos. Yeah. But we ended up just like not even shooting. I feel like we were just like laughing and having fun. Yeah. We would shoot a little bit, but then we would like fully rage at night. <laughs> yeah. I just swallowed so much hairspray. I remember my dad being like, you're so lucky that you get to share these experiences with a friend, especially in your 20s, because Otherwise, it's like so boring to just do things by yourself or it's not. It's also like isolating when you don't know someone in your same world to like confide, like. Yeah. yeah, and I feel like we helped each other so much on like growing together and like figuring out things in the space. And like trying to like chat about it and talk about it and like figure out. And Jordan was there the first night I met Matt. Oh yeah, <laughs> we, were, we went to Coachella together with, I think it was Matt was so annoying, I know, he kept we flat tiring you. Yeah. And you were I, like, this is not funny. This guy's not cool. And he was like, so, he was just, just like, like so obnoxious. Guy, like, so obnoxious a lot. He's just like the biggest social butterfly. And he was talking so much. And every time I talked to Cass, he'd be like, but me. Like, we were sick. also like attached at the hip at the time. Yeah. So I feel like once was, I started dating Matt, you were like, what the fuck? I had never had a boy, a girlfriend have a serious boyfriend. That was my first, you were like my first, like, really close friend that had been in a serious relationship well you had like your ex or whatever but it was like yeah, you guys were never together yeah yeah i feel like so we have weird just me. so many funny memories together and have known each other for so long and have known each other like before all of this stuff so it's just like you're like my sister yeah sisters yeah i feel like we also have a friendship where even if we're not talking all the time yeah because we live in different cities now yeah and we used to live in new york together and see each other all the time we, yeah we lived in the same building in new york for a minute and then in the pandemic i moved to la jordan moved to my uh or you moved to la i moved to miami yeah and now jordan is wiped up and we're just 
on the same or wifey so. same wifey level now it's fun like i feel like Cass is always like a life stage ahead you still yeah, are because you're older. like married yeah and like you're like my big sister always yeah and now we have like more like to relate to in each other because we both yeah. have like we and both kind of live similar lives yeah we have like similar yeah. energy in social settings too i feel like yeah um yeah Cass and I are both like very chill but we love to have fun and like be out and be like social and energized but like we're very laid back yeah like and neither public. of us yeah. need to be like the last ones to leave the club like we're both yeah. like okay let's go to sleep now but we're also not like the ones to like be the entertainment act of the night either like we have friends that do that and I love to like watch my friends who are like that yeah yeah I let and I'm like have like, like other people be the entertainment yeah. and I'm just like quiet and shy yeah, we're excited to be reunited in Aspen. Yeah, we've been having so much fun. We've honestly not been, we haven't even been doing like photos or work or like vlogs or anything because we've just been like talking nonstop and like catching up, I feel I like. I know. Which has been so fun. Yeah, it's nice to have a little catch up girls a weekend. Yeah. What are we doing today again? So, because we haven't done any sort of content, yesterday we went to a Mew Mew event. So that was really fun. Yeah. And then we went to a dinner with Castle Del Sol and wild blue store so we, we've been seeing a lot of friends which is fun and the people on the like revolve forward trip are a little random but it's, it's cool fun. and fun to like meet new people chat with new people there's a lot of younger guys here like 20 year olds like tiktok guys because yes. revolve forward is trying to push their revolve man and forward man so there's a lot of boys that are really young and it's so fun. They love cast. They're like googly eyed over cast. They're like, you're married? Yes, they like, I'm like, they're just totally hyping us up. <laughs> it's very fun. Today's kind of like our party day. That's what we've given ourselves. That's like, the, yeah, we're like, this is the one day we'll party. But we're gonna take photos and stuff first of our looks so that we could party in peace and have fun. Yeah. You do need to do my makeup at some point. I know. Okay, I got in so many cute things that I wanted to show you guys. How cute. I'm gonna link everything below. This bow dress from New Arrivals. New Arrivals does no wrong. Their stuff is just the best. And then last night I wore this little cow skirt. How adorable is this? It's not, does not fit me. I got a double zero because at the time that was all that was available. So it was a little tight last night, but it's so pretty. And then I wore it with my cute new little St. Laurent heels. The color looks weird on here, but they're really pretty brown. And then Ferragamo sent me the coolest boots. I'll link these as well. They're stunning. If you have slightly bigger calves or legs, these are not for you. <laughs> because they're I so just pretty. they just made it on my leg. And I like have not the skinniest legs, but not like my legs are kind of skinny, but not that skinny. Like I was surprised at how tight they were. So what should we wear today? Right now we're gonna just put on a cute outfit to take photos quick. I kind of want to wear my, this like cape thingy. That's cute. And then I think I'm gonna wear it with like a long back sleeve gloves and maybe those boots. What are you gonna wear? I don't know. You could borrow whatever you want from me too. If you want to wear the Mew Mew look i might wear the Mew Mew look but um you could borrow my tights okay how pretty is this so elegant the coat is ferragamo and the shoes are ferragamo and then i'm gonna wear oh i'm wearing our new little orium earrings how cute are they we're launching four new earrings and they're all very like wearable everyday earrings i'm super excited i've been loving them they're all a little bit smaller which is like the perfect little touch. And they're so lightweight, obviously. And then my gloves and my purse. So chic. And then maybe these new Orium Sunnies. Fashion. Cute. Do you want to show the vlog your look? Yeah. I need some Orium jewels. What are you going to do, silver or gold? I don't know. I put these like Sally Liangs oh, on. Oh, they're cool. But I feel like the bows might be too like girly with it. I don't know. No, I think because the Mew Mew is like girly. Yeah. So I have on this cute little smock from Mew Mew. And it's so boxy. I feel like um, like a Minecraft I know. character. Like yesterday I posed like... You have to, you have to go like, like... You have to go like this. Where you're like... I don't know. 
but it's cute i have it on with it looks really cute on you i have it with cow cowboy boots these little vintage i like those boots they're vintage yeah they're so cute thank you my or wells's business partner found them for me on ebay because no he's like a, a like a professional vintage eBay? shopper yeah that's but what i wish my profession was he's so good um, okay. But yeah, I have this on. Very cute little turtleneck. Curled my hair. I feel like very girly. I feel like Miley Cyrus right now with my hair like this. And then I have a fur coat I'm gonna put I on over top coat. with the brown boots. It what? doesn't really go over the Mew Mew that well, but I'm just gonna close it when I walk around outside with the tights. Cute. Very mob wife. And then I might steal some Orium Sunnies or something. I didn't bring much with me. I only have the black or the brown, but you could wear the black or the brown, obviously. I tried not to bring that many things this time. I tried to pack one suitcase. So you can either wear these. I think those look better with your outfit. Or the brown. I feel like the brown looks good with my coat and stuff. Yeah. Love. And it brings in the boots. Let's see. I love those. Really these are so cute. Okay, yeah, I like these a lot. This look. Cute. Okay. Gonna go take some pics. <laughs> around i'm wearing this cute little jacket from normore white tee black sweater from naked cashmere pants are anziata like my favorite trouser brand i'm gonna just wear this like keep it simple i think just black my little row bag i've been loving white tees popping out under the sweater if you're a millennial it's giving very much like Abercrombie double layering gear polo. It's giving like Jennifer Aniston. Did you ever do that? Friends. When you were younger? Yeah, with a polo under. Like I used to wear bags. like two Abercrombie shirts that were different colors and pop it out of the oh. bottom. <laughs> but I think a white tee under a sweater is so chic. Okay, we're gonna be back. bought some hats <laughs> they were actually like not as expensive as i thought they would be <laughs> one fifty. Like, like for these like mushroom chic puffs. little what's on mine oh okay we have to get ready super fast for um, we have a snow lodge snow lodge event yeah. it's party time okay Where? we're gonna get naked so hold on we're ready <laughs> i need to know if i should wear these glasses or not and if, or if they look too much with my look because i have i like it I think everyone's gonna be very ravey. Okay. How cute are these moon boots? Or not moon boots, but snow boots? In Ferragamo? I'm like comfortable, I love it. On her way to sleep, repeat. Her hats are so funny. We need to give the girlies a recap of yesterday. Oh man, where do we begin? Snow Lodge was such a blast. Like Alessa was so fun. Not gonna lie, I was freezing my ass off. Jordan and I just like stayed in one spot the whole time and we were just like, <laughs> like we were on like a couch, uh, standing on top of a couch because the crowd was, it was so packed that you could barely move through people so i feel like that's always the move to just stand on furniture stand on the couch and have your own space and just be like popping up and down i also need to discuss how two separate people recognize me as pepperoni's mom a girl and cole sprouse and his girlfriend <laughs> were like are you pepperoni's mom and i was like i am so we're feeling pretty cool that people know me as pepperoni's mom our shit is literally everywhere and we're just packing up and then i think we're gonna go get lunch quick walking to get some food before we get on our flights and going to get a panini or something i thought it'd be cute to do what our peak and pit of the trip is like our highlights 
and worst moments. Highlight of my trip is getting to spend time with Jordan because we haven't done that in a really long time. And hey, 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 hey. 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 Happy Sunday. Good morning. <laughs> um, and getting to just like properly catch up. I feel like we didn't stop talking for like four days straight. I know, and it like it never ended. Like every conversation was just like so like engaging and great and just like we talked about so much i feel like we had so much that we just hadn't been able to talk about like on the phone it's not the same yeah it's not the same you don't Obviously. even like get to like cover every subject when you have a phone call it's like boom boom, boom jumping around from like every catch-up subject but that's what i feel like in my 30s i feel like when it comes to spending time with friends Obviously when someone's like in the same place as you, it's nice to do, go to dinner together and catch up. But then I also feel like I've noticed just trying to plan trips with my friends as much as I can is also key, especially because so many of our friends still live in New York. Jordan lives in LA. Like a lot of my friends nowadays, especially since I moved to Miami, live not in the same place as us. So just planning a trip together it's obviously a luxury, but yeah, it's the best get, way like, to do it. Full, you feel like full and fulfilled after spending time with that person. Because at dinner, it almost feels like you're rushing certain subjects and then you're just like not fully able to like dive into their life and like hear about everything. Yeah. Pit of my trip <laughs> would be last night. Oh my God. We got bullied into going to some house party after dinner and dinner was so fun like we had like we had peaked at dinner like you know when you just have the best time we had danced after we had caught up with it's everyone. when you try to extend the night for too long and force it is when it's not not good and shay and i both were like this is a bad idea because it was like 20 minutes away and our and other friend was like well they have sh well first of all it's 20 minutes away and it's so hard to get ubers and aspen and the girl was like well, he has car services going back and forth, so it's going to be really easy for everyone. And she managed. And then to she never us. showed up. And then we get there, and she goes, "Oh, we went to a club." So we get to the house party. Shay forgets her phone in the car, so we're trying to get them to come back to pick us up and to get her phone. And then it took us 30 minutes just to get out of the driveway of this house party. It was just so stupid. It's a one-way driveway. Like the nice thing about Aspen is that you can walk everywhere. It's it's nice to be able to just walk from bar to bar to restaurant to. Like everything walking distance is so convenient. And choose what you want to do. Like if you don't like somewhere, you just move on to the next and it's so easy and convenient. It's not like I'm you have to go, go sit in the car for 20 minutes. Flying, I feel like. Okay, what was your peak and pit? Well, I mean, kind of similar, I guess. Like you can give us fresh to, ones. Yeah. I mean, like seeing you, obviously peak, hanging out. I think just like getting to meet everyone on this trip too and like making new friends. Obviously on brand trips, people have that they have like a rep of being annoying from an outside POV. But for yeah. us, it's so fun to like meet different people from different backgrounds, like different mm -hmm. professions and things like that. And it's like whether people work in music or acting or things like that. And it's always so cool to just like have worlds collide and yeah. get close to people and hear about people's lives and people you like see online. It's very different in person. And we just have like good, like good old fun, you know? Last night we went to this country bar at Kimo Sabe and it was so fun. The guy from Yellowstone was there. It was um, Kevin Costner there and I was like fully going, I was like fully starstruck. I agree, I do feel like one of the coolest things about going on trips is like making friends that you would never probably like be able to, you would never connect with those random strangers. Yeah, and the thing for me is like, obviously I moved to LA from New York and I had so many close friends in New York, but when I moved to LA, I feel like it was really hard for me to make friends. So when I go on these trips, I often meet other people from LA and that's so nice because I never get, I feel like it, it sets the tone for when I go home, I have something new, like new and exciting to look forward to. Totally. Which is nice too. Okay, we're gonna go inside and then you can do, we're gonna eat. Mm -hmm. 